Ring walk Danny in Las Vegas with Rayo Valenzuela. Rayo, how you feeling, man? I feel great, man. Happy to be here. See all these beautiful fans, man. Uh, happy for the Saturday. Now, obviously, you got your boy David main event. Man, first, let's start there. How have you seen David in this camp? Obviously, that's your boy. You riding with him, but how have you seen him, and what's your prediction for the fight? Man, he's super hungry, super motivated, extremely focused. Uh, every day, bringing a lot of fury and, and excitement to the, uh, to the gym. Now, for you, obviously coming off your first career defeat, stepping in with Chris Cobra, who he's coming off his first career defeat. He's moving up to 135. Um, you know, let's start with the loss. What have you been able to learn from the loss? I learned a lot about myself, you know, uh, inside of the ring and outside of the ring. Um, it, it was a, a, a lesson in disguise, you know. It was a blessing, too. You know, a blessing in disguise, I mean. Uh, and I'm just happy to be back. Uh, I soaked it all in, man. accepted it, you know, and just got right back to work, uh, right back to the drawing board. Now, Chris Cobra is somebody that I've, you know, known and seen since the amateurs and, you know, a, a very respected pro. Like I said, he's coming off his first loss. Uh, ironically enough, both to Dominicans. What do you know about Chris and um, how do you see the fight play out, man? Uh, he's a good boxer, you know. Uh, he's, he's, he's skillful uh, and, he's, uh, you know, sharp and fast. Yeah. It's a hell of a fight. Um, you know, it's very exciting because we're both coming off a loss, you know, but... Um, I'm going to be victorious uh, Saturday night, man. You just got to have to tune in. You know, I work extremely hard, um, focus. You know, I, um, I'm the bigger guy. I'm the natural 135 pounder, you know, so I'll be ha uh, happy to be welcoming him to the, to the division. Now, what's it mean to you to be able to, such a great fight with you and Chris, to be able to have it on such a great show like Plant Benavides? Um, it's a dream come true. You know, uh, David being my brother, you know, he took me in when I was uh, 17 years old, and now we're fighting on the same car, you know. Uh, it's a dream come true, and I'm just happy to be here. Is it like motivation in a sense? Because obviously, it's the MGM Grand, man. That, everybody wants to be here. It don't get be uh, bigger than this platform. You know, Showtime pay-per-view, Las Vegas at the MGM Grand. Now, I got to ask, man, uh, for you, do you feel like this is a do-or-die fight, or do you feel like it's just part of the path for you? Um, I've trained extremely hard, man. I'm ready. You know, I don't, I don't see myself losing. I'm going to be victorious. Um, I, I, I'm not even looking at the fight like that, you know? You know, I did, I did my job in the, in, in, in the gym, and I'll be victorious. Gotta ask you, uh, this is a big one. Four weeks from Saturday night, there's another big one. Tank Ryan, just your thoughts on that? You know, obviously that being technically not the lightweight division, but uh, close enough. Um, it's a hell of a fight, man. It's good for boxing, another great card. Um, I believe, uh, you know, I'll be edging with Tank by, by a little bit, you know? Um, he just has more experience. You know, I think if, he, if he's disciplined, he keeps his right hand up. Us lefty, we tend to sometimes drop a, drop it. So if he keep, if he's able to be disciplined, keep the right hand up, you know, I think uh, he'll be victorious. But if he drops that hand, you know, you got to be careful with that left hook of Ryan. Now, I know you're not looking past prime time, not looking past Chris Colbert at all, but I have to ask, is the rematch something you want? Ed, Edwin De Los Santos, is that, is that you want to run it back? Is that something that has to happen for you? Definitely, man, definitely. After this? Hopefully. After this. Well, Rayo, thank you so much, man, for the time. Wish you the best come Saturday night. I appreciate you, man. Thank you guys to all my fans, everybody who stood by my side, man. March 25th, I want to let y'all down. Tune in. Make sure to tune in. Showtime pay-per-view. You don't want to miss it. One of the best cards of the year for sure. What up, YouTube family, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Help us get to that million subscribers. We're on the road to a million. And obviously, we have other great content on our Patreon channel. So since this video is over, head on over to our Patreon and check out all the exclusive content or right here on our YouTube members.